Bulgarian, Italian, Macedonian, and Russian. So if you do need an interpreter for your business meeting or for your medical appointment for any other occasion, do not hesitate to contact me. I am very happy and I am available to travel to your business and create the best, the best personalized interpreter service for you. Okay, before I start, I want to say thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for all of you that subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am so, so, so grateful. I send you a lot of love and positive energy and positive vibrations. I want to say thank you guys. Whoever is not subscribed but is watching, please guys do subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that uh, bell button so you can get notified every time I publish a video, which is Wednesday and Friday. On Wednesday, I publish a video about business development and business uh, in general, online business and so on. And on Sunday, I publish a video related to note taking and how to grow up and develop yourself as an interpreter or translator. Okay, this is gonna be a video again. This is a series of video that I called note taking for medical interpreter or note taking secrets. This video is about medical interpreter abbreviation note taking. So let's get into it. Uh, you can check the video below. Uh, that video I created last week. Um, also, there is a, a series of video related to cardiovascular system explaining the general terminology or the general knowledge that you need to have as a medical interpreter in order to interpret, in order to be ready for your medical appointments, okay? So you can check that videos over here on the description box above. Maybe it's here, maybe it's here. I'm not sure every time I come from the different side. So let's start with our medical terminology. Uh, this again, I repeat, is related to heart or cardiovascular system. BPM, it's beat per minute. BS, <laughs> it's a blood sugar. That's an abbreviation for a blood sugar. The next one we have, it's BT for a blood test, BP for a blood pressure, BL cold for a blood culture, and BMR, uh, basic metabolic rate. All this is related to her, the blood test, uh, they are general, they are different, but this is a great way to abbreviate when we interpret in our appointment. C for cardiovascular, CHD, coronary artery heart disease, CV, CVS, cardiovascular system. Again, very good abbreviations here. Let's go up to the next. CVC, again, we're talking about tests in the blood. And if you're a translator, you're going to find those in the test. CVC, it means complete blood count. CCV, coronary, coronary care unit. CD, cardiac disease. CHF congestive heart failure and the last one that i have for this video it's b for blood bl test blt it's bleeding time this is very important in surgery guys blt just remember when you interpret in surgery you do not have the time to abbreviate, so you gotta know there is no time to ask. So BLT, it means bleeding time. CLT, it's related to the blood clot time. This is something again that you can find in cardiovascular, okay? V for venous and IV intravenous, okay? So that was video number two about cardiovascular related abbreviations and terminology. I give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen cardiovascular abbreviations on this video. 
I organize them the way they are related. So blood with blood test and blood flow and all these kind of things. So it's more easy to remember. This is how I remember them. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for commenting, guys. I really, really appreciate very much you commenting. I like to, uh, to put a small bracket here. I remember somebody commented a few days ago. I believe his name was Boris. Spasiba Boris. He shared information that in Europe, some of the organization asked to have you not. As an interpreter, guys, in order to protect your own safety, your own privacy, and so and so and so, you should never ever share your notes because you're not translators, you're interpreters, and you are responsible for what are you saying. In translating is completely different. So if you are working as an interpreter, you should not share your notes. It's not good for your professional experience for your professional privacy it's bad so i advise you do not share your notes guys you have to shred them and nobody should see those whatever you interpret should be kept confidential and if you want to know more about it you can smash to this video and find the best practices and code of ethics for interpreters Thank you for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing. I wish you a wonderful day from sunny Denver, Colorado. Take care. Bye-bye.